So a couple weeks ago, I was looking for a new practice pad. I went down to my local music store and I was kind of alarmed at the prices of some of the pads there. So I thought maybe I can check out some alternatives. I actually found one that was only 10 bucks. And in fact, you might even already have it at your house. Just check on your computer desk. All I did was take a mouse pad, throw it on my table and grab my sticks and go. And it's a perfect practice pad. Here's how you can easily make five effective accessories that every drummer should have. That super deep, punchy, and fat snare sound that you hear a lot of players using today can be achieved by lots of different products that are on the market to do that. But here are some alternatives you can do at home with stuff you might already have. First is just to take a drum head and flip it over upside down on the snare drum. That'll give you that nice fat sound. If the rim is bothering you, here's how you can deal with that. You can actually just cut out the drum head and throw the rim out. So first, take a knife, put it in the side so you can make a little slit for the scissors. Take your scissors and cut around the shape of the head. After you take the rim off, you can clean up the edge with the scissors. Now you have a nice head that'll sit right on the snare drum and give you that really fat sound and the rim won't get in your way. So if you don't have any drum heads at home, you can get a similar, not quite the same, but similar effect by putting a piece of paper on the head. If you want it a little bit deeper, try experimenting with a couple more pieces of paper on top of that. Here's how you can achieve that cymbal sizzle sound without breaking your bank account or having to drill holes in your expensive cymbal. The first option uses a bathtub chain and you can pick that up at your local hardware store. First, measure out the desired length of the chain and then break it off where you like. After you have the length, you need to create a loop at the end of the chain so it can stay on your stand. You can do that by using the clip that it comes with in the package. And here's one more option that literally cost five cents. It's probably the cheapest cymbal sizzle option out there. So you literally take a nickel and a couple pieces of tape and that's it. So I took two pieces of tape, each double the length of the nickel, press one piece of tape to the nickel, not completely covering it. The other piece of tape just sits on top of that to stabilize it. Here's how that sounds. Drums are a very loud instrument, so drummers always use noise cancelling or expensive in-ear headphones to be able to listen to their music. Here's an option that might cost you around zero to maybe $40, depending on what you have at home. This alternative actually only uses two things. Uh, just a cheap pair of earbuds, which you might already have. If not, you can pick them up just about anywhere, and a pair of construction earmuffs. The earmuffs can be picked up at your local hardware store. As you may have already guessed, now all you have to do is put the earbuds in your ears with your music, put the earmuffs over top of that, and you have your very own pair of noise-canceling headphones. The market for drum dampening options is massive. There are so many different options out there, and it can be kind of confusing or daunting or even expensive to try and figure out what works for you. 
Here are a few cheap alternatives for you. Now perhaps one of the most famous and still widely used options is tape. You can use gaff tape, duct tape, any wider tape will do. Uh, just take a piece off and make a little fold in the middle and that'll be your drum dampener. You can experiment with adding more tape or putting stuff under it to add a bit more weight, which will increase the dampening. Another option that looks close to some of the other drum dampeners that are on the market is actually those little felt circles you can put on the bottom of furniture so they don't scratch your floor. You can pick those up at your local hardware store. There's tons of different options there. Just pick something that suits you. These last two options are often used in the studio and you may have already heard of them. The first is just taking your wallet and simply putting on the snare. Uh, it'll mute it quite a bit, so just be prepared for that. You can also use a t-shirt. You can experiment with just putting it on the edge of the snare or actually draping it over the whole drum to give you kind of that 60s vibe. Now for one of the most essential drumming practice tools out there, the practice pad. Here are a couple cheap, easy alternatives for you. Mouse pads are a great alternative. If you don't have one, you can pick one up from your hardware store for around 10 bucks. Now they are a bit floppy and they are a tiny bit thin, but they still offer a great rebound. So just chuck it on your table and you should be good to go. So if you don't have the mouse pad at home, check your kitchen for one of those cork pads that you put a hot pan onto. They actually work pretty well and they have nice rebounds. Just like the mouse pad, you'll have to put it on your table in order to practice. And if you don't have one of those either, you can still pick that up at your local hardware store and it'll run you about five bucks. Here's how they both sound side by side, and if you do already have both of these at home, you can experiment with putting them together. Hey, thanks so much for checking out that video. I hope you enjoyed it. That was just five different things I've found over the years that were helpful. I even already had some of them at my house. So it's just useful if you don't want to go out and spend all the money. Sometimes these are nice alternatives to that. If I miss anything or maybe you have some other stuff you like to do and do at your house, let us know. Comment below the video. We'll catch you later.